Okay, today I am going to show you how to quickly alphabetize a list. I've got this list here formatted the way I like it with first names in one column and last names in another column. Uh, so let's say I just want to or alphabetize this by the first name column. I'm going to select column A. On my home menu up here, I'm going to go to this sort and filter button. Everything I do today is going to be under the sort and filter button on your home menu. Sort and filter. I'm going to sort A to Z. Uh, Excel is going to pop up this warning. What it's telling me is, hey, you've got column A selected, but right next to column A is column B that has data that looks like it probably goes together. So if you stick with what you're doing right now, your names are going to get out of sync with your, your first names are going to get out of sync with your last name. So I would end up with something like Frank X and Joe Ocean and Gomez Lamar, which is not what I want. So what it's offering to do is expand the selection for me, which I'm going to let it do. Um, there are reasons you might want to continue with the current selection, but they're rare and hard to imagine what that would be. So we're just going to leave it at expand selection and tell it to sort. There we go. It put column A in alphabetical order for me. I can see I've still got Amy Winehouse, Amy Adams, Frank Ocean, Joe Hill. I've got all the names I want, except you can see here it sorted my column headers, uh, the names of the columns with the name, the rest of the names, which is not exactly what I want. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to do this a slightly different way that takes just a little more work, but uh, is worth it. So I'm going to select column A here. I'm going to go to sort and filter. I'm going to select custom sort. It's going to offer to expand the selection again to keep my names the way they to keep my names together. I want to so I want to expand the selection. This time I'm going to tell it my data has headers. When it pops up this menu, on this menu I'm going to say my data has headers. So what that does is it unselects the first row. It's telling I'm telling it no Excel don't don't sort row 1. Row 1 are the names of the columns, not the data in the columns. So it's going to leave that row alone. Um, and now that it knows that's the name of the column, it's, I can just tell it to sort by first name. Okay, and there we go. That's the way I want it sorted. Uh, I've got in alphabetical order by first name. Uh, let's say instead I wanted to sort it by last name. Easy to do, I'm gonna select column A again. Custom sort, expand the selection, uh, tell it my data has headers, and this time I'm just going to select last name. There we go. Now it's in order by last name. My names are still together. I've got Frank Black, Tom Joad, Amy Winehouse. Uh, yeah, now let's say we wanted to do it by last name, then first name. We could do that. So here I'm going to. Do this. So let's uh, oh redo that. Um, so I'm going to select column A here. Go to sort and filter, custom sort, expand the selection. Uh, this time A, you can see it added this, grabbed this extra row because I was lazy the way I did it. That's fine. Excel is smart and it's not gonna it's not gonna cause me any issues. So this time I'm going to say sort by last name, then I'm going to add a level and sort by first name. So first it's going to put these in order by last name, then it's going to put them in order by first name. I tell it OK. There we go. Sorted by last name, then first name. We can verify Joe Hill is before Lauren Hill. Johnny X is before Malcolm X. So uh, it looks like this is sorted the way I want, and that's all I need to know.